morning everyone Jordan Meyer here wholesome family farms it is February 25th today and I want to share a little knowledge that I learned from my landlord he's got quite the concoction of taking care of calf scours um, I'll let you watch this little clip here and then afterwards I'll go into more details about what he does with it and how it works Hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna check down in, in Houston. He's nice and warm. Yeah. I gotta get my damn knees straightened out so I can pull him. I put three teaspoons of Pepto in her. Oh, that, yeah. That perks them calves up. Yeah. How many scoops of whole wheat flour did you put in there? I got about, I think, nine in this one. Nine good heaping ones. I used to use tablespoons, but I can't find a tablespoon now. Yeah. And then you just get it just to the syrupy look. and So, so that's like syrup. Yeah. That's ideal. Yeah. Well, you got putting enough. You want to give that one a little or try? We can if you want to. He looked pretty good already. That really did a number on him already. So, yeah, he's doing really good now. Or she. Yep. The whole wheat flour and Pepto-Bismol mix with just a little bit of warm water and get it so it looks like syrupy looking and you just put it in a little coffee can and kind of put your finger in the calf's mouth and let them drink it a little bit and swallow it as you go. But yeah, he usually puts like eight to nine tablespoons of whole wheat flour in the coffee can and then he puts like a tablespoon or so or maybe a little bit more Pepto-Bismol in with it and then just mix a little bit of warm water with it and then mix it up really good and give it to the calf. The beef calf that was born three days later, that was quite the deal. That was the cow that had the calf on a Friday early morning and then I came out here to the other rented farm out here and seen that the cow had another calf three days later after I was trying to graft that Holstein onto her. <laughs> so now she's got two calves on her, which is good because she was originally going to have twins anyways. But uh, yeah, the beef calf was born. I seen him have his first dump, so to speak, and he put out meconium, that black stuff or whatever, and it wasn't even eight hours later and he had the scours like you can't imagine. It was just like like water coming out. I don't even know how it happened. I don't even know if he really drank because it took a couple days before he even started drinking on the cow. And last night was his first time drinking really good on the cow. And today is Thursday and he was born on Monday. So um, yeah, right away early on, I ended up tubing him just a little bit of colostrum just to keep him going and everything because he just he was so stubborn you couldn't help him with nothing couldn't get him on the cow to suck or nothing he'd suck a little bit out of the bottle and stuff but it was not doing so good but the Pepto-Bismol and the whole wheat flour it just worked the wonders on him he went from having totally runny scours to basically cottage cheese looking manure now so he's doing really good and yeah, them other two Holsteins, they took on to the other cows too. And well, the one Holstein's with this beef calf on the mom and then the one heifer, she's got her Holstein calf too. So don't really like having Holsteins, but at least they got something on them, right? So, well, that's about all I have for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you guys will give that a try as much as you're probably laughing like that don't work well. You're just gonna have to go try it for yourself and see how it works, so. Jordan Meyer here from Wholesome Family Farms. Everyone have a good one.
Hit that subscribe button on the way out. Be appreciated. Take care, guys.